Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into Tiafimo Lopez and Steve Claggart. In, uh, is this just, just to stay busy, fight for Tiafimo Lopez, or is this something more serious than that? Claggart's been on a winning streak, he stays busy. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, so you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description below. Uh, please um, join the Patreon. Follow the month. Get you to Lock of the Week, which hit again last week. Lock of the Week, it's going to hit every single week. Um, get the Lock of the Week. Ask the bookie anything. Get uh, all the updated odds, all the updated live betting tips. Get all the updated props that aren't available uh, when we when we go record the show. Just five dollars a month. Get you all the best gambling advice in the world. Again, I am the number one guy at this. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please join the Patreon. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into Tia Fimo Lopez and Steve Claggart. First off. Let's start with Claggart. We can, we can make this clip. Claggart is 38-7-2. He's 35 years old. He's on, he's on a winning streak. He has not fought the highest level guys, but he's won since his, his, his loss in 2021. He's been very active. He's won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fights in a row over you know a two and a half year span or so from August of 2021 to January was his most recent fight in which he took apart Marcos Gonzalez Bereza. He's got a third round destruction of Alberto Machado in there. He's got a couple of stoppages. He's looked good against lower level competition. He's got a come forward guy, subtle movement. He can slip on to the inside, uh, but he's still fairly easy to hit. He's not an, an elusive guy, although you know he's he's got some decent skills on, on getting in the inside. He stays on you, but he's not extremely hard to deal. He's not really strong. He's not really going to push you around in there. He just kind of stays on you and lets lets the punches go. He throws nice shots on the inside. He's he's strong and rough and tumble and all those things, but he's not really manhandling you on the inside. He commits to his shots. He digs to the body well. He's a good body puncher. He's good short uppercut clean, clean uppercuts. He, he throws a lot of good clean combinations, clean shots. He stays busy. Toe to toe, he's going to stand in with you. He's there to be hit. Like I said, there's a little bit of subtle movement. He can slip shots a little bit, but mostly, I mean, look, he's going to get hit a lot. It's just the style. He throws a lot of punches. He's in front of you. He stands in, in, in a phone booth with you and trades. It's what he wants to do. He lands clean shots and he gets hit with clean shots. He's got a great gas tank and he keeps it up. That hasn't seemed to fade uh, at 35 years old, but again, he's not fighting the greatest guys who are really putting up the most opposition, the most pushback. Get a win over Alberto Machado, former world champion. That's a good win. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the competition has been subpar when we're talking about world-class guys like T.F. Lopez. Stands in and trades. He's not the biggest puncher. He gets hit a lot, and he hits a lot. He's going to try to outwork you, break you down, weigh you down, land something big. Or just chop you down over time, win the fights on volume. That's what he's looking to do. Tiafimo Lopez, we are all really, really familiar with Tiafimo Lopez. Super, super athlete. Lots of movement. Uh, winds up, but he's super quick. Like, he telegraphs your shots, and, and if you sit in, you can time him. You can time him if you got you know the speed and the skill set to do it. But he, you know, he's got electric feet, and he's super quick. He, he checks all the boxes as far as an athlete goes. Good power, good speed, excellent feet, you know, good dexterity, mobility. He checks all those boxes, and he and he winds up, especially with the left hook. You can see it. You, you can he can tell he telegraphs it, but it's so fast that you have to time it absolutely perfectly. His defense is his head movement and his athleticism. I mean, it's it's what it is, right? Like defensively, he's flawed, but he's still pretty good defensively because of his unique athletic ability, kind of like Roy Jones was defensively, right? He's just hard to hit because he's so athletic. Uh, but there's, there's flaws in there. When he slows down, he he could be subject to getting knocked out. But I, I don't see that happening here. He's not a huge volume guy. He's selective with his shots, but he throws a lot of power shots. He throws things hard. He throws he's explosive with it, but it's just a lot of one at a time. And he leaves himself wide open when he does it. Like I said, this guy is it's not difficult to counter if you can time him. 
The difficult thing is in timing him, right? He's gotten so far based on his explosiveness and his incredible athleticism and speed. Hyper-athletic, twitchy quick, explosive power, one-punch power, uh, but it's too much one punch at a time. So for every pro, you know, there's this little con with um, T.F. Two, and 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 the, and the real thing is, you know, anything short of the highest level, he's going to blow people out. He's blowing people out at the, at the highest level because he can do that with his speed and his power. You know, he's a different athlete. He's a rhythm. He, he builds his confidence over time. Um, he's a he's a gunslinger. It's what he is as a fighter. Agile feet. He misses wildly at times from the outside. It's got a good jab. I wish he threw it more. Lightning quick hands. Explosive. But he takes a lot of risks. Takes a lot of risks. He's a big time gunslinger, right? There's going to be high reward and high, you know, high risk and high reward in, in everything he, that he does. Now, I expect Claggett to be competitive in the fight to a degree. I, I think Claggett will land some shots. He'll, he'll score but eventually he's going to get blown out. He's going to get taken out. So I really like Tiafimo Lopez by stoppage in this fight. Let's take a look at that. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez minus 1,100 on the money line. Not going to make us a lot of money there. Tiafimo Lopez by KO, TKO, DQ. It's going to make us some money there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my bet up. I think Tiafimo Lopez uh, by on the money line is a fine bet to add to the parlay. Uh, but where the real money comes from is this – this bet right here, Tiafima Lopez by KO, TKO, DQ. It's paying you minus 145. So right here, the $100 bet split up between Tiafima Lopez on the money line at minus 1100 and Tiafima Lopez. Um, Tiafima Lopez by stoppage is at minus 145. So if Tiafima Lopez wins by stoppage, you're going to win $38, $39, uh, which is not bad, about $40 on this bet, where Tiafima Lopez is, is a monster favorite. Uh, if you lose, you, you're not going to lose your whole bet. Uh, you're going to make about ten dollars um, on Tiafimo Lopez. So a little hedge there. And again, Tiafimo Lopez on your parlay brings down the odds a little bit. A parlay with Tiafimo Lopez and Bam Rodriguez on the money line is a good start to a two-play parlay. We get something else in there, help bring down the odds a bit more. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and have I have I not pulled this up? I am so sorry, y'all. I, I didn't show this. All right, let's review this one more time. Here it is. I'm sorry. Um, I'm losing it. I did not pull that up. All right, so on the money line, T.P. Lopez minus 1,100. We're going to put take our normal bet, cut it in half, put half of it on T.P. Lopez on the money line. We're also going to add T.P. Lopez to the parlay. Uh, and then the other half of our bet, whatever your normal bet is, cut it in half. K.O., T.K.O., D.Q., so T.P. Lopez by stoppage going to make you about $35 on that bet, on a $50 bet. Uh, but that's it. You know, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a a fun fight, but I think Tiafimo Lopez eventually steamrolls. Steve Claggart gets him out, gets the stoppage. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. I uh, show you how to bring down the house consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month. It gets you all the perks. Get you the best gambling tips in the world. Uh, it is June 24th, 2024. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.